Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction, guys. And, and guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. And of course, press that notification bell so you can be the first one to watch. You know, you want to be the first one to watch when you tune into Red United TV. You get me? Boom! Let's get straight to it because it is. Chelsea won, Manchester United won, Manchester United getting a point against this team, against Chelsea at the bridge. But you know what, guys? Something hit me with this game. We didn't deserve to draw. We deserved to win. We deserved all the three points today. Chelsea were lucky. You men were lucky to get this point because that penalty was soft. Even though McTominay came on, it did fuckeries and piss us off. It made us think, you're coming on, McTominay. To concede a penalty. And normally you come on to concede a yellow card or a red card. But a penalty, man? Come on, man. This is why you should be on the bench. But know what? Let's get hats up to Manchester United, first of all. Because Manchester United in that first 45 minutes against Chelsea, they were so much in control. It was a good start for Manchester United. We were controlling possession, guys. We was winning the midfield battle. Casemiro was playing lovely football with Ericsson. Bruno was so involved. Anthony was destroying Chelsea until they made change. That Harry Potter, Graham Potter, a splendid lady, a must on Manchester United. And then bringing on Kovacic, taking off whatever one of his players. And when, from there, Manchester United, the whole game against Chelsea was slightly different. It was a good, it was a good um, substitution from Graham Potter, but Manchester United in in the 45 minutes, they still were the strongest team. At one point, guys, we had 64 possession, 64 percent possession against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Does that remind you of something? Yes, it reminds you of Louis Van Gaal way back when we controlled in Stamford Bridge and ended up losing. But not today, we ended up drawing. Nil nil half time going into that second half. Our boy Varane got injured. Oh! I was in tears, just like he was in tears, because he knows that we're going to be playing with Harry Maguire. <laughs> <I'm at force. laughs> no, no, but I'm joking, guys. No, but Varane was crying because this injury might be... <sighs> it might hurt him for the World Cup, and he might be out for the World Cup, and that's why he was in tears. So I'm hoping that Varane, nothing is serious, and he can recover really well and quickly. McTominay coming on as well, conceding a penalty for Chelsea to score that goal. Jorginho with a penalty. Chelsea were lucky to get that penalty as well was soft. But again, why are you grabbing up mans like that? Like, why are you doing that for McTominay? You've come here to secure a point and you pull us on risk to not secure that point. But eventually we did though because Casemiro having one of the man of the match performances for Manchester United coming with that head off from nowhere you know going places to the extent that they wanted to go check if it was a goal it went past the line and it was Casemiro celebrating with pure passion as you can see on the side there yeah go that was Casemiro right there enjoying his time at Manchester United enjoying his fair so far first goal on the account and Casemiro does score some vital important goals in his career he has so, yes, big up to catch me with that goal to make it 1 1. Full time Manchester United, 1 1 against Chelsea. We get the points. Yes, I'm happy with the point. We secured that. But we should have won this game, and Chelsea were lucky. Let's be real. They were lucky. Two shots Chelsea had. The attempts that they, they had, Manchester United has much more attempts at Stanford Bridge. I'm confident that in the next game, we can get better. And it's looking good for Manchester United in terms of the way they're progressing, guys. Uh, player wise today, Rashford. You are, oh my god, I told you guys until you put a kid inside the opposition's goal with a sign saying, I haven't had my free school meals. That's when Rashford will be scoring goals. And if he, if he the only way to score those goals to save to score goals to save those guys with a free school meal, you know, you want us to do that, Rashford. But Rashford was so shit, so poor. My god, like, cannot finish, cannot win anything in the air. We have that, and you want to play up front, big man. You really want to play up front? No, Rashford, playing up front is not for you. You're shit with your back to go. You cannot win anything in the air. And your decision making and your finishing is poor. Piss poor. It's bent sometimes. Anthony, another good performance in the first 45 minutes, but kind of shaded off like, the, like our team did in the second half. Ericsson, 
again, lovely in the first half. But until they made the changes, same thing for Bruno. Bruno could have done a bit better. Shaw was good today, I'll be honest with you. McTominay coming on and do fuckeries. Yeah, but you're not serious. Casemiro, man of the match performance. Man of the match today, guys. Again, another back-to-back -back man of the match I have to name, which is Casemiro. Big up Casemiro for all these winning. I mean, for his equalizing header. He done so well today. Defended well, done everything. And of course, Donkey of the Match Day has to go to Jalen Sancho. I thought he was poor in total. Guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivor and Spice, you know. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game today and also who your man the match was and also who your Donkey of the Match. Just let me know at all in the comments, guys. As always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, press that notification bell and remember to share across all social media. And as well, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready night because your boy is out. Peace, my brothers. Peace, my sisters. Peace in general, United fans.